Hi, it's Rich B and AZ, and today I'm going to try balancing a wheel. I've previously balanced this one. I'm going to see if I can balance it a different way. And actually, this particular one I just pulled off the car <coughs> has no balance weights on it. So it must have balanced near enough perfect to start with. So that's going to be interesting. I have a stand right here that I've been leveling. I've got three bolts in the bottom. There's nuts on the underside which I've driven into half inch holes and half inch nuts. That seems to be working well. I've got it pretty much level in a couple of different directions even though this doesn't focus. Okay. So here is the ball on the cardboard disc and it's sitting there fairly nicely I hope it doesn't roll off. I really should tape it or something, but I don't want to. And I'm going to put the wheel on top of that. Okay, so I had a sudden brainwave and got out my old flexible curve from those tech drawing days when you had to use a curve to draw a manual curve on a graph. Wow. Anyway, I'm hoping this is going to stop the ball rolling off. I'm going to put this down over here and see if I can put the wheel on it. There's the car. Another car driving by. Truck, actually. Wow, yeah, it's working. So I've been experimenting with different materials underneath the ball and both the cardboards seem to have been just too soft. They leave a, a dent no matter how thick the cardboard is. And that doesn't really work, it doesn't help leveling this thing off. What I have found is I think I'm about half an ounce off. If I can find the spot where it's low. So this appears to be the low spot right here. So I'm going to put a weight on the opposite side. Oh, and conveniently, there's a line right there. It's a half ounce weight. Let's see what that does when it spins. Have to wait for it to settle. Okay, that seems to be fairly settled now. What I'm doing is I'm looking at this spot here with the vertical line. And I think it's doing a fairly good job. I'm within half an ounce, which is probably why this wheel works on the car as it is. So now I'm swapping from this fairly hard vinyl surface over to this aluminum surface here. See if that makes any difference. Alright, here we go. We'll pull the tire up, put it on the ball, guide it to the middle. And just let it settle. This one's settling at quite an angle. So it's coming up here as the low spot where the 16 is. So I'll put a weight on the opposite side. This is very much as it was before. Alright, we'll give it a little spin, see what happens now. Yeah, now it's settled down quite a bit more. 
that half ounce looks pretty good. Yeah, I did notice this little oddity when taking the wheel off. Notice how the ball is moving slightly. Yeah, there is a dent right where the ball is. So even on that aluminum surface here, the 40 pound tire has uh, made a dent in the aluminum surface. Not, I don't know how that affects accuracy. It might. Okay, now I'm going to check the Corolla tire on the balancer. Now I've been into an alloy rim. It has a different type of pilot in here. It's got a 45 degree chamfer. I suspect it's going to fit on the ball quite nicely. So let's have a go. Okay, now see this one is tipping. Yeah, this one I can't do on here. And that's because the center of gravity, yeah, the center of gravity is in the wrong spot. It's too high above the uh, point of contact. Yeah, it's tipping. Can't do this one on here. Well, I'm glad I checked that. It doesn't work on every wheel.